Dochmal conference. I'll be saying a part of my speech in Welsh, so for those of you who don't understand the language of heaven, you may need your earphones. This is my first opportunity to address you as Minister for Health and Social Services. So I want to start by thanking you all for all you have done during the pandemic. But also I want to thank Vaughan Gethin for leading us through a really turbulent time as Health Minister. You've all played your part in arresting the course of the virus by following the rules and abiding by that cautious approach set out by Mark Drakeford and genuinely appreciated by the Welsh public. Over 70% of Welsh people say that they support the approach that has been taken. And this, along with one of the best vaccination programmes on the entire planet, helped to deliver that incredible result in the Senedd elections last year. Diolch yn fawr, Mark, am yn arwenu mewn ffordd mor ofalus trwy'r pandemic. But the COVID pandemic has tested our health and social care system to the brink. And I'd like to ask you to join me in demonstrating our appreciation for the incredibly hard work and resolve our fantastic health and care staff have done during the pandemic. We thank you all. And Aaron Bevan was incredibly perceptive when he suggested back in the 1940s we could manage to survive without money changers and stockbrokers, but we should find it hard to do without miners, steel workers, and those who cultivate the land. Well, we know today we don't need the bankers in a pandemic. And whilst we may not be quite as dependent on the miners today, we do know that the professions that kept us going during the crisis were the shop workers, the logistic workers, the utility workers, and of course, our magnificent health and social care workers. Whilst in England, under the Tories, they spent 300 million pound on duff ventilators and 17 billion pound was paid out to defunct or non-existent companies. Here in Wales, the pandemic shone a light on all that's good about our system. Our strong public sector family came together to deliver a test, trace and protect system that completely outperformed its scandalously expensive counterpart in England, where 38 billion pounds went straight into the pockets of the private sector, on top of the 700 million that they spent on Duff PPE, mostly delivered by their already moneyed mates. When we experienced problems, and we did, we came together to solve them. Our Welsh Labour government, health boards, local government and trade union partners working with and behalf of the people of Wales. But I'm afraid the pandemic also highlighted many of the challenges facing our system and exacerbated many more. And Aaron Bevan said the NHS will last for as long as there are folk left with the faith to fight for it. Well, I can assure you that we in the Welsh Labour government will always fight for the NHS. <clears throat> But we have to face the fact that today, the pressure on the NHS has never been greater. We have an aging population, developments in technology and treatments. We have unprecedented numbers of people waiting for diagnostics and treatment. We have a workforce that is truly exhausted. We have high levels of demand for urgent care. And we have hundreds of people staying in hospital for longer than they need to. And the reason for this is because the social care support they require in the community simply isn't there. And one of the most important lessons from the pandemic must be the importance of a healthy, robust and sustainable social care service. And conference, out of the ashes of the Second World War, we were left by Anair and Get Bevan, the gift of the NHS. Well, I, along with Julie Morgan, uh, Minister for Social Care, I'm determined that our legacy in this pandemic must be the establishment of a national care service for Wales. 
And that will be a service that in time will become as loved and respected as the NHS, with care being delivered through our local authorities, providing the best quality service and high value jobs in all of our communities. And from this April, our Welsh Labour Government will ensure that all social care workers will start to be paid the real living wage. And conference, as we enter the local elections, we must trumpet the fact that many of our Labour local authorities are already there. On the name Bender Vanol or Vindam Hesach, I wait your men partner with them they thaso, I have launi the Hairi Adar forum quite te. Can I park Gurion Edol or an Kavlog a Gamodai Irai Singovali am in a Nuliadni? A Badunu in Camry Cam a Blingar, Tiakat Grey Gwasaneth Goval, Kenneth Lethol, Igamri, Sidon Rad, I can then Pamvoy Angen are not bobble. Eisiaeth yng Nghymru diolch i Lywodraeth Llafur Cymru, mae gyda ni ys uchafswm i chi ni dalu am ofal yn eich cartre o gampint yr wthnos. Llawer mwy hael na'r symiau diderbyn, diderbyn mae angen i bobl dalu yn Lloegr. I nid i gofyn i grŵp arbenigol i helpu ddechrau plotio'r ffordd. I ni'n gwybod na fydd arian annisgwyl newydd i'n cefnogi yn dod o gyfeiriad y toriad yn San Stefan. Ac yn un gwybod na fydd yr arian ychwanegol o godiad y swyriant gwladol yn ddigon i wneud popeth i ni eisiau wneud. Felly, fe fydd hwn yn siwrne yn hydrach nag un naid anferth. A mae werth i fi chrybyrddio chi y bydd dewisiad y caled o'n bleinio ni. Dim ond dechrau yw'r adroddiad o'r grŵp arbenigol. Cyn i unrhyw gynllun gael ei weithredu, fyddwn ni eisiau clywed wrth bawb sydd â diddordeb mewn oes siarp ar ein siwrne gan gynnwys ein teulu undebol, y mudiad cydweithredol, ein ffrindiau yn llywodraeth leol, ac wrth gwrs y rheini bydd yn defnyddio'r gwasanaeth. Ffrindiau, the two heroes of the pandemic are our NHS and our care workers. But we're not going to waste this crisis. We will use and we will build new radical ways to transform our services and we'll seek to continue to deliver the very best care we can for the people of Wales. Diolch yn fawr. Diolch, Leonard.